Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm bringing you new updates from Germany. Some really great updates because we have the chance to have a look at the Model Y very, very close. It's exclusive footage, so um, you are at the right place here right now. And we will look into the expansion because we have more news that Tesla is actually um, stopping the expansion for now. Um, this is a picture which is showing the potential expansions that could happen over time. Now the first impression if you hear that is well okay it makes sense um, Tesla is not going to invest any more money in Germany um, it takes way too much time and there is like a 50-50 thing about this story. Um, first of all you need to understand um, Tesla is of course frustrated that it doesn't go as fast as they are expecting it to be. But again, on the other side, even if they would have already started with cars being produced right now, it would still make no sense to further expand a new building, make a new building for more capacity. Because the capacity of the current building you see on the left side, the main building we have been flying over for the entire time, um, the capacity is over 500,000 cars. And indications are there they could go towards 600 K if they really wanted to. So 600,000 cars is a lot of cars guys and they have to fill that. They have to ramp that up and so it makes no sense right now to focus on another new building but rather finish the building they have, finish the battery cell production, ramp the new battery cells, ramp up the production of the Model Y once permit is in and then by the time the end of the year comes they then could decide to say well okay now we start construction on the new building. So it's not um, a sign that TAS is not going to invest any more money in Germany. That is not the case, but they can use the money right now to build other things until then they have more money even uh, nevertheless because they are making profits every month and every quarter. So it makes a lot of sense for Tesla to take the money right now to um, push it towards something else. They do have an empty building in Austin. You're ramping up Austin. You're ramping up Giga Berlin right now and further ramping up and rebuilding some parts in Shanghai. So that takes a lot of money. That is a lot of um, liquidity that you're taking. So it makes no sense to build another new building if you even haven't started with the first building to produce cars. So um, again, guys, don't take it as they wouldn't invest anything anymore in Germany. That's not the case. Now we're looking at the footage here and do consider um, looking at Fly Brandenburg. Who, he is doing a very good job and this young man, he was able to get um, on the site on Sunday before we had a very, very big storm over here and he got some footage very, very close up and we will look into that right now. So you get kind of an idea how the Model Y performance looks like. Um, again, guys, these are pre-production cars so they might not look perfectly and they could um, be fit together better but I think right now they are already pretty good of course small changes can be made but this is what you can see and as well that there's a um, little film white film over um, um, the at the window here so you see that is the same like in China just to protect it and um, we do have here now a close up. So I'm very happy that Daniel gave us this insight here. So we have an um, idea how the car really looks when you really close it up. Um, so that is actually pretty exciting. And if we are looking at Austin, there's actually more exciting news in the United States because um, Tesla is planning to change the superchargers at some point. Um, and they, what they are going to plan, and this is something they have planned way longer already, is to make um, supercharger places and spots for Cybertrucks. And yes, um, the Cybertruck is way bigger than a Model Y or Model 3 or Model S or Model X. So they need more space. And so not taking away two um, places um, for one Cybertruck. Um, we have here the inside um, from CA in California where we can see that they might plan um, Cybertruck wider spaces, um, spots for the Cybertruck, which makes a lot of sense. Um, they might be building them right now already. So first uh, Model Y and Model uh, 3 users can, owners can use them. And once Cybertruck is 
really starting to have production and significant numbers are coming out, uh, those owners are able to park um, at a right spot here where the Cybertruck has enough space. So I do really like that. It is the right strategy to differentiate that um, between the Model 3 and the Model Y owners and the um, Cybertruck owner, of course. Um, for the Semi, I think um, it is clear that Tesla is trying to build mega chargers at the points where the company Semi's um, are moving towards. So like with Pepsi, um, at the place where Pepsi is located and then where they usually drive to. Then looking at the interface, we do see that the Zoom app um, can be seen in the vehicle dock right now. Um, so Joe was reporting about that. So that looks exciting as well. Um, so if you are a business person and you like to work and you're charging your car and you're currently working on your laptop, uh, you can hold a Zoom meeting in the future as well. Um, it's not online yet. It should be coming very soon, but it's another possibility to um, interact and work more efficiently um, during your um, time of waiting um, to get a car charged. Um, then the rumor is continuing about the 4680 cells. Um, we do have rumors that the um, 98 watt hours per cell will be the beginning, then moving towards 180 watt per hour uh, per cell. And then we have to comparison um, the 2170 cells, which is um, sitting at around 18 uh, watt cells per hour. So again, we see some differences here, um, but currently I'm in a position where I would say um, we should really wait um, for those people who are receiving a Model Y performance from Austin to experience how it is to drive such a car with the new battery pack with the new battery cells and then we will get an idea what it actually means to have the 4680 cells and of course it is no surprise that um, at some point new generations battery cells will evolve they will get better and by time um, in two three years we could have different generations and different um, power um, when it comes to the battery cells um, because they will get better by time that is the normal curve and it will get more profitable for Tesla as well um, that is the learning curve and the um, cost curve um, that will go um, up and down so um, again guys thank you very much for being here today I hope you enjoyed my update from Germany um, even though there was not so much to report about in the past weeks um, and if you are considering and you're German you can also um, subscribe to Tessie Supply my other channel so thank you very much for being here and I hope to see you back very soon so maybe tomorrow um, here on my channel so thank you very much and take care